Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on a holiday Monday. We'll keep this short. Uh, we won't be in front of the screens today too, too much. Just want to point out a couple of things. Equities opened lower at the open today. Uh, this looks like a valuation move here. Not a global macro move, right? There's really no catalyst here. It's just overvalued equities. I guess you could say a catalyst is SoftBank. Um, he's a bit of a donkey. Uh, he's been a bit of a donkey the last decade or so. Ever since Alibaba, he hasn't really gotten anything right. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I do know that uh, 3484... Between 34.84 and 35.30 uh, should be resistance. We printed uh, very interesting lows there, 30, 33.44. Um, if you're not in the rhythm of this game, 34.05 is not a lot to do, um, especially on a holiday liquidity type of day. I'm looking at the liquidity right now in the minis. It's 10 by 8. And it's a half a point wide. That's not even a quarter point wide. Ten by eight, six and a half at seven. So low liquidity day. Um, middle of the range. Be careful there. Let's look at this dollars R chart. It's very perplexing. Uh, did not react at all to risk off. I mean, not at all. Just on its knees. We did see a clear. Uh, sitting here collecting dollars are at 55 uh, so you know that is what it is he's there bidding at 55 uh, it wanted to go lower price wanted to go lower the story obviously is for dollars are a lot higher but if you're bullish risk um, and you think emerging markets are going to going to survive all of this in good shape somehow. Uh, this is a very interesting point, 1655. You could argue through 55, we will probably attack 36. Makes absolutely no sense to me. Uh, you know, equities are 180 handles from the highs. But it's one of these odd ones where, you know, no one really knows what's going on as far as flow-wise. I mean, some people know but the full story is obviously very nuanced and contextual this is why we say price never lies price is offered and dollars are uh, there's just no doubt about it there's no two ways about it this thing should be at 1750 and now it's at 1659 um, if you're bullish risk this is an interesting one. We are, we are not playing this, but I just wanted to point it out. Euro yen, interesting lows now, 125 and a quarter. Uh, again, not to be played today, but just pointing it out. Gold gets a bit slippery through 1907. If we go risk off and we go baby out with the bathwater, as in liquidate everything to raise cash, uh, which I don't think we're going to do. Uh, gold gets tripped up through 19. What's this low here? 1908. Um, Bitcoin was moving a bit. Good time to pick up some Bitcoin. Of course, on the weekend, uh, we're not trading Bitcoin, but 9800, the low. Uh, we like buying this. Uh, we always buy a little bit on Mondays anyway. This is kind of our version of Tesla. Uh, makes no sense in, on a theoretical point of view, but the concept of it is uh, quite powerful for us, and we think Bitcoin's going to go a lot higher. So, um, price is actually pretty bearish. The price is pretty bearish here, but candlesticks in Bitcoin. And, and price action it's kind of there's a there's what quite a bit of a disconnect right um 
so we just sort of close our eyes and buy some Bitcoin here if you really wanted to be cheeky you probably want to buy it and you really want to trust the technicals between 78 and 88 7800 and 8800 there should be stops down there and some weak hands will get slapped uh, that's Bitcoin we've been short Kiwi Yen so so uh, how can I say this unfulfilling um, equities down 180 handles Kiwi Yen is down 30 points from the highs just annoying uh, we're still short a little bit of Kiwi again. We've cut it back. This chart is pretty meaningless. We're right in the middle. Don't start chasing uh, rainbows. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Um, Kiwi Yen. Dollar Max is doing the funny business like dollars are. Uh, and this is another reason why I'm a little bit skeptical on how much further these equities can go. The whole picture is just doesn't look too shaky here. Uh, equities do look shaky, but on a valuation basis, that makes sense. Like Apple at two trillion is idiotic. Tesla at five hundred billion, idiotic. Um, but the whole structure of the system does not look like it's in play yet. I use the word yet because the unemployment question is still the elephant in the room out there but uh, 2147 very interesting in uh, dollar max very similar to the dollar rand um, price action makes very little sense to us but if you were just to close your eyes and you were to eliminate the title of this chart or at least if you were to show this chart to me and you didn't tell me it was dollar max It'd be like, oh yeah, fuck, pretty simple here. You just fucking sell through 47. I don't know, care what that is. Of course, we then we bring our biases into the into the uh, into the equation, and it gets a little trickier. Um, but this chart is bearish. Looks like it's dying to go lower. Uh, so just be careful. Watch out. Uh, but also remember, it's holiday today. It's the and of course trading dollar max in Europe is even more illiquid uh, so just be careful dollar max dollars are but I just do need to point that out dollar cad's not doing dick um, let's check our friends in the bond market interesting uh, price action there on Friday stocks and bonds lower usually that means dollar lower but bonds got slammed um, which was great this now <clears throat> 174 and a quarter is an interesting point um, we do like bonds lower we like this inflation story to, to come into play could be supply um, driven as in supply chain problems um, I don't think it's going to be demand driven but um, bonds look like they're heading lower rates higher Finally crude, weird, slammed, 38.50 um, today, there's a gap to close at 39.76, crude looks bad, but it has that, it's now got that same matching low, kind of like the equity chart uh, on 33.45, 38.50 is the sort of the matching low here. Not sure what to do with crude here, uh, but quick five bucks from the highs uh, the last four days. Anyway, as you can see, just sort of commentating on what's going on here. No real specific plans for uh, any big trading today. Holiday, we're taking a little Labor Day holiday here, as you know, is typically a, based on my American roots. Um, I wish you all luck if you are trading, and I will see you tomorrow. Ciao.